What is going on YouTube? Pat's Tech here. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the official Apple leather cases for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. You can pick these up from your local Apple store or on their Amazon store. I will leave links in the description below. They are genuine leather, so they're a bit on the expensive side at $59.99 a piece. I have two different colors here for the 13 Pro Max, the golden brown and their new midnight color. The golden brown is a little bit more orange than I would like compared to previous years with like their saddle brown colors, but I do like the new midnight color. It's kind of black with a hint of blue in it, so I think that looks pretty nice. We're gonna see how they look on the silver 13 Pro Max, so let's get right into it. Taking a look at the packaging here, we can see iPhone 13 Pro Max, leather case with MagSafe. Flipping it over on the back, natural leather. Shows you how to put your phone inside of the case correctly. Designed by Apple in California, made in China. There's a little pull tab here. Pop that case right out. With these leather cases, you are going to get some paperwork inside. This case is made with high quality supple leather to protect your iPhone. Leather is a natural material, like a fine leather belt. It may show creases, marks, or patina over time. Interaction with MagSafe accessories will leave slight imprints. So basically your MagSafe mounts, MagSafe chargers, wallets, all that good stuff. It will leave MagSafe imprints around this Apple logo here uh, with the magnet imprints from the inside of the case. So you definitely will get some marks there, but that's just what comes with the leather cases. First thing you'll notice, the leather is definitely soft. Feels like high quality leather. Apple logo, you'll get that embossed on all these cases. You will get a nice camera ring here to protect your lenses. Looking over on the side, nice metal buttons. Metal buttons for volume up and down. Mute slider cutout. Bottom of the case, you get your port cutouts, both the speaker cutouts here. Looking at the inside of the case, you get a nice felt material. You will see that MagSafe ring in there. iPhone, made in California. So let's grab my phone real quick. You clean the screen off. First thing you're gonna notice is that MagSafe animation. The cool part about it is these cases have NFC inside of them. So when that MagSafe animation goes off on your screen, it will be color coordinated with the case that you have. So it's a nice touch from Apple there. You'll see that once I pop that in, there's a midnight color MagSafe animation. And if I bring the golden brown case over here, we will get that same animation, but in the golden brown color. So nice touch there by Apple. You'll get that with the silicone cases as well, color coordinated to the case that you get. So popping the phone in here. You can never get tired of that. Taking a look at the back. Silver looks great with this color. You can see the blue hues in it. It looks black in certain lights and then blue in others. So I kind of dig that. Taking a look at the sides here, the buttons are very clicky. I don't know if you can hear those, but they're very tactile. Same thing with the volume up and down. You get your mute slider cut out. It's a bit small, it's not impossible to get into, but if you do have bigger fingers, it's trolling me right now. You might have an issue with that. On the bottom here, port cutouts wide open, speaker cutouts wide open, and they do match the speaker grills on your phones. I know some people that bothers. To me, I don't really care too much, but they do match the speaker cutouts. Taking a look at the camera bump here, you do get a nice bump. So your lenses are recessed. You are gonna have them protected when you're setting your phone on the back on tables or anything like that. You're not gonna have to worry about scratching up your lenses. Taking a look at the lip protection, you are going to get a lip that goes all the way around the phone. So putting your phone face down, you're not gonna have to worry about scratching a screen or anything like that. I am rocking a screen protector on here, so I always do suggest that, but the lip on the front of this phone is actually quite deep without a screen protector, so you're not gonna have any issues there. You can see, case is fairly thin. It's not gonna add too much bulk to your phone. Now, on the flip side of that, this case is not rated for any type of heavy-duty drop protection. Small to medium drops, you might be okay, but any type of heavy-duty stuff, I would probably look elsewhere for a case. This is more of like an elegant case. You're going out to eat, restaurant type of case. Taking a look at the other side, thin case, as you can see from the top and the bottom there. We're gonna take a look at the fit here. Now, it being an Apple case, the fit is normally A1, so you don't have anything to worry about there. Pulling on the top, no budge. Pulling on the sides here, no movement at all. Down towards the bottom, very rigid. 
right at the speaker ports and cutouts, no issues there. So normally with other cases, you might see some drooping here, or you might be able to pull the case a little bit more, especially where the buttons are. Not with these leather cases, anything made by Apple is gonna be very rigid, and I mean, obviously it's gonna fit perfect from Apple. Now I know I have seen a few of you guys saying that Apple might have switched up their leather in the past few years, that back in the iPhone X and iPhone 11 days, these cases patinaed beautifully, and now they're just kind of showing black scuff marks and really more dirty than patinaed. I can't really speak to that personally with these cases as they're still brand new, but I have seen it in person a few times and it does seem like the leather is not showing scuffs and scratches the way that you would envision it. More or less looks like the color of the leather is just rubbing off. So, I mean, in my opinion, if you're gonna pay $60 for a leather case, that's the last thing that you want. You wanna be able to own this thing for years and just keep it looking better and better. So, just something to keep an eye on if you're thinking about buying one of these cases. Overall, is it worth it? I would say no, since I know there are a lot of better leather cases out there, but these are official Apple cases, so they're gonna fit amazing, they're gonna work perfectly with MagSafe, and I mean, they're not a terrible case by any means, but personally for me, spending that much on a case, I think there are better options out there. So yeah, that's it for the Apple leather case. If you guys like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up, it really helps me and the channel out. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see some more videos. Until next time, thanks for watching.